Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I forgot it was Friday. So today I do not have a lot of things to show you. I kind of have been, anything I get, I've been like steaming it and putting it away in my closet and kind of just saving it for different fashion videos that I do. I actually did a video yesterday on styling a new jumpsuit and then I got a little heavy with the conversation so i edited that yesterday but it's going to take me a while to i really want to spend more time finding different price points of different things different you know options and stuff like that to me that's part of the fun and a lot of times if i video something and then try to get it up by that night i can't do that so today what i'm going to do is just a few things that i got this week and first of all, I haven't shown you guys yet, but I'll put the pictures in here. I did get my new dining chairs for my dining room. We got them right in time for Christmas Eve, and it was great. My mom, Brooke, Will, and Brooke's boyfriend sat at that table to eat on Christmas Eve, and we loved them. It's not that I didn't like the other chairs that we had, and I think it's a totally different look. These are just much more comfortable, and just a whole different look. So I did get some new makeup, but I'm going to save that. I am wearing it now. This, I need to apologize to you guys for this. I listed the wrong primer the other day. I think I listed the e.l.f. Um, sticky primer or something, which it might be the same thing, but this is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. And Brooke came in my room the other day and said, Mama, I think you should try this. She knows I like like the Milk Hydro Primer and I like the Sticky, the Cover FX, had a gripping primer because I have a hard time keeping foundation and everything on my nose when I'm wearing sunglasses and I just have kind of combo skin anyway. And she said, this is the cooling, she said, but feel it. And it is, it's like a... It's a gel. It even looks like the Milk Primer. It does have like a tacky feeling. So I've been wearing that with my Valentino. I've gone to the lighter shade. Now I'm using the MN2. Today I have on a new, brand new foundation to me and brand new on the market that I will show you on Monday. So I just wanted to tell you, I'm sorry about that, the gripping primer might be good too, and I know e.l.f. has such a good price point, and I know Ulta will let you return it. So if you did buy it, I'm sorry, it was the mint melt. I want to, I think they have another one that I wanted to try too. Okay, new handbag. I am going to sell some of my old handbags, some of those that I just don't use as often. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them on my website or there's a place locally that sells you know like higher end handbags so there's a few of them that i just don't like as much as i used to and then there's some that i like i just don't use so this bag that i got this is actually the third time i have bought this bag the first time i bought it i got it and the security i bought it from Saks, and I guess it was like from Saks, but Gucci sent it. So I don't know if there's like, it was in New York. So I don't know if there's like a Gucci part boutique in Saks and it had the security tag on it. So I had to send it back and it was just frustrating. So I just told her just refund my money and I'll think about it. Okay. Then I kept thinking about it. I kept thinking about it and I really enjoyed the mulberry bag wearing it crossbody and I just had it on my mind so for Christmas I bought it again from the Gucci website it was supposed to be here on December 22nd and it just I got the order confirmation but I kept not getting the shipping so I kind of wasn't stressed about it or anything I had enough other things on my mind and I emailed them didn't hear anything I emailed again didn't hear anything and finally I called and the guy said yeah we're waiting for some more of those to come from Italy it should ship out January 7th. So I was like, okay. I think that day or the next day, I got an email saying they canceled it. So I was like, gosh, well, you know, then I really wanted it. So I contacted my Becca, my sales associate at Saks in New York, and they had one left and I got it. And it is the Gucci Diana Small 
It's the mid size, but it's considered small. And I just love it. I love it. I knew I would because you guys know I love bamboo things anyway. And even when I used to sew, I used to make bags with bamboo handles. So they were some of my favorites. And it also has the crossbody strap. And it's just beautiful. I really considered getting the brown is so pretty and the ivory is gorgeous. But I was thinking this is so unique because it's really, I mean, I would use my bags year round anyway, but this is really year round because the bamboo will allow me to use it in the summertime even more. And I just love the shape of it. It's kind of like, it has a little flap here that magnetizes, but then it's just open. And I, this is my thing I do now is I just keep all of my stuff in this bag, it's a little Dior travel makeup type bag. And I just, you know, put that in from purse to purse. And then I've been loving, you know, I bought this little card holder instead of a big wallet. And I love it. And I've just got kind of like cash stuck in there. And so let me stand up. I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and do my outfit of the day because it's newer too. And then this will kind of go into something I talked about yesterday as far as my body image. I shouldn't say that, but I just don't know how else to say it. I was, I'm just gonna say body image issues, but it's not that I have a bad body image. It's just that I'm having trouble getting a grip. And I have three pair of Levi's that I have ordered and I think they're too big. And I want you guys to tell me before I take the tags off. I think I might just go ahead and return them and order them again. But Levi's was running a really good sale. And what I have on today is I have on a really cool top and it's from the brand The Line by Kay. And evidently she was like a blogger. I watched some of her videos where she was doing thrifting and everything and she's really cute. She has a really good personality. And I ended up going on her website and ordering this top. But this morning I was watching someone and I watch a lot of people too to try to figure out like how they're filming and stuff. But I can't remember if it was Uniqlo or there was another brand that I found today too that has like a similar design. But I just love that it's like a little bit of a mock neck and I love that lettuce edge type seaming. Just that little detail allows you to wear something that's so comfortable but you know just has a little bit more to it. And then these jeans are by Reformation. I've never had a pair of jeans or anything like this from Reformation. I've always bought their dresses and I love their dresses. They are just so different and romantic and just gorgeous. Some of my favorite ones that I had to end up selling because they were just way too big were from Reformation. But these are just kind of like a straight leg. And as you can see, they are high rise. I really like them. They're so, I just feel, it just takes me back. This whole outfit takes me back to the 90s when I was in my 20s. And these were the jeans we wore. It was before low rise were ever even, you know, talked about or whatever. You just didn't even think about it, really. You just bought a pair of jeans and they looked like this. And they look pretty good, I think. They really fit well. Even John commented how well they fit. And this is what I have trouble with. And I guess it's because I don't have any butt left, but a lot of extra like those beige ones that I had on the other day from Everlane. I loved them, but I mean, it was like they grew right here, like all that baggy material. And I think it's because I don't have a butt. So I'll talk about that more in the video I did yesterday. But uh, the shoes I have on right now, of course, are just these Uggs. I usually, you know, kind of fight wearing something like this in my videos. But then when I watch videos, people are wearing, you know, tennis shoes and those big chunky boots and everything. And, you know, this is just my comfy shoe, especially now that it's been, you know, so hot. We're getting cool weather this week. But my other favorite shoe would be these Javianas, which I've shown you already a hundred times, but I just really like them. And I think they look good with jeans. And I just think they're, you know, neat looking. 
And then if I were going to put a heel on, I have really been enjoying these. These are the, I think by far, little black heels. Like a good, I would say that's probably about a two and a half inch block heel, but it's not too, it's not so blocky that it's clunky looking. And then this would be, oh, look at So this is my outfit of the day and I will not need a jacket and I did not want to wear boots because like I've mentioned before I just don't like it when I'm just like covered head to toe if I were gonna wear boots I would want to wear maybe like a different kind of collar or something like that yes yes hey baby and you have to let me know whether you guys like that door those two doors open or closed I just, I'm trying to see how, you know, we can play with the lighting in here. A pair of shoes that I got this week that I think a lot of you guys would like are these. One of my subscribers or followers on Instagram sent these to me to try. They are Reef. So a good, you know, flip-flop brand. And the funniest thing is I ordered them and the website said that they were new. But I think it, I ordered them during the week went over to my parents that Sunday night and my brother and my niece were there and she had a pair on. And I said, oh my gosh, I just ordered those. And my brother said, yeah, that my sister-in-law had them too. And then on Christmas day, my sister-in-law had them on and they love them. They're very, very, very soft. It even says, squeeze me. <laughs> they're just, I mean, they're more comfortable than the Birkenstocks, I'll tell you. And this is just like a fun little furry strap. Right, Chanel. So, I thought I would try these jeans on and let you guys see, just at least, you can see the style on me. They're some of the most popular. That's why I got them, because I wanted to have these for like denim reviews and things like that. So I've got the rib cage ankle straight. I've got the 501 cropped. And I've got the 501 original. And they're all in size 27, which I, I know that I'm a 26 now, but if you guys have ever gotten the Levi's jeans, some of them are so small. So I was scared to do that. And really, I should do that thing where you order several sizes. That's probably the thing to do. Or, no, nope, I was going to say, or try to tailor them, but... I, I mean, where I have the fullness, you can't tailor. <laughs> Maybe I should wear butt pads. <laughs> okay, so first ones I'm gonna try on are, and I don't know, have I shown you guys this belt? It's another one that I got the extra small, small, and it still has all of this sticking out, and this doesn't slide. But I got it from the, I think I got it from the J. Crew outlet, but I like it. I like the little it's just simple, and I liked that it had all the different holes. So, I doubt that I will put this on with every pair of jeans. But, okay, so now, first, I think if I had to pick my favorites from these, it would be the rib cage straight ankle. So, let's try these on. I will say these are soft. You know how some Levi's are, like, really hard and just... You're just like, no, I mean, we've gotten spoiled. But these are soft, they're not real hard. And I do think that they fit, like right now, see this is what happens. Like right now, I think they fit. And let me put these little sandals on so we can get the full effect here. Okay, let me look at my mirror here. I do think that they fit, I like them. But just all of this already, and I haven't even sat down, I haven't driven in the car, I haven't worn them for more than 10 minutes, I think that they're gonna be too big. What do you think? And don't you like them? <laughs> I really do like them, I think they're cool looking. You know, the, I guess the old me would have kept them, but I'm just trying to, evolve a little bit and realize that I want 
everything a little bit tighter. I think it looks better on me and gives me more shape and goes with more of who I am for my clothes to fit. I mean, I do think, I just think I look better, better in tailored clothing. So here are the first ones. We see you. And the next ones we're going to try are black or the faded black. And these are the 501 cropped high rise fitted through hip and thigh straight leg. Okay, I will say these are a little harder, more of a hard denim, but not, not as bad. I think the cheeky ones are the ones that I bought a long time ago that were just like rough. So these definitely, like I say, you know, you would think, okay, they fit. But I remember even Kelly Oliver with, um, you know, the boutique that I go to at Oliver, she always tells you to get as small as you can get because they're going to give. And I just think these are gonna give. I feel like they still have a lot of like room right here. And they're just real, I can tell too, like a lot of them are real straight coming off my butt. <laughs> what butt I have left. But I like them, I love this length too. It's kind of just like right to the shoe and you know, that way you can wear whatever you want and feature a shoe. So, okay, and then the next pair are 501 High Rise. These are 100% cotton, and I think I got these after watching that Alexa Chung video. Maybe that's when I got these. I don't know. When people tell me like their favorite, favorite jeans, sometimes I want to try them. Okay, so I think all three pair are, see it's kind of a bad sign too when you are buttoning them and they're, you're not having to struggle too much because it seems like when they really fit good, oh, this bottom, that the buttons, you have to kind of not struggle, but you guys know what I mean. Okay. And these were the only ones that really were long. Like they go all the way. And I didn't know if I really liked that. Like I definitely, these are definitely too big. Like I can, I can kind of feel myself moving around in the jeans. So it's kind of a bummer. And what's funny when I first got, I think the rib cage, I just put them right in my closet even after I tried them on because I was like, oh yeah, they fit. But I've really honed in on that issue that I have with that. So my nails look terrible. It's um funny bunny, but it it wasn't funny. <laughs> Got a little funny on me. Okay, let me put my other jeans back on. They felt really good. Here they are. You can see them off of me. The Reformation. Yeah, I wanted to tell you guys this too. While um I'm thinking about it. You know those Jenny Kane faux fur cheerling, you know, mules that you see on Instagram all the time and they're black and kind of pointed and they look real chic. I ordered those and ended up sending them back. They were, it, they fit kind of like Gucci mule loafers do where they're kind of just hard to keep on your feet, but, and they're expensive. So I wasn't gonna keep them if I didn't just love them. And I know a lot of you guys have probably wondered about those because they look so cute and they're like a really chic version of all of the shearling shoes. But they were, unless you're someone who just enjoys wearing that shape, I just don't, I don't. I'm having to face it. I'm a flip-flop girl or a heels girl or an UGG girl. And then for rings, I have on the one my mom gave me, my mom and dad, and the wolf ring. And I have on just these little studs. I think they're from the, can't remember what collection, they're Dean Davidson, but I just like them. They're big and they're kind of faceted. It was that, I'll keep wanting to say Studio 54, but it was that type of collection. And my same old, I don't never take my U necklace off because it's 14 karat. And I think that's it. Oh, let me stand up and show you the bag on too. Hey, hey, hey. 
So far, I've just carried it like this because I've just been running in and out of places, but I love it. It's so user-friendly. I think it's a really good size because it's small, but it's not really many. You can, I can still get my bag of things in there and the crossbody. Like I didn't really, I set the strap up just to kind of do like this because I'm typically not a crossbody person. Like when I was shopping for Christmas gifts and I was, you know, really going in and out, in and out, I did use the mulberry bag crossbody. So you definitely can do that. And it's just such a pretty bag. I just feel like it's such a classic. It's a little bit different than the, you know, Princess Diana, what she carried, but it's pretty true, pretty true to the, the style. <laughs> that was Chanel running into the tripod. Are you okay? <laughs> She's playing it off. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, look forward to so many fun videos. Yesterday's video was pretty, I had a really good time doing it. And I really want to do 10 outfits with 10 pieces the 10 by 10 challenge. I know I can do that. And what else was I thinking? Just lots of good stuff. And this weekend I'm putting together my list of favorites of the year, favorite purchases, favorite makeup, things like that. I will see you guys here tomorrow with my jumpsuit styling video and my chit chat and everything. And I will probably see you on Monday with some makeup. So see you then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.